A couple things before we start the video. Thing number one, this review of this account was done on the day Natlin launched, right? It was literally before 5.0, the 5.0 patch. So keep that in mind. All of the characters that are featured are pre Natlin. Thing number two, Doro was absolutely fantastic with this. Um, he did a great job. Kudos to Doro. The way he handled this was professional professional he was so good at this i can see why he's so popular he handled this like a pro um last time he reviewed my account in 3.8 you know we kind i kind of just said here's the account like here's some things you should look at and he just went for it and that worked fine too uh this time i created a spreadsheet for him itemizing every single thing he should be looking at. So he was able to like go line by line and be look at the characters, look at the weapons, look at the talents, look at the friendship. So this was a very more like controlled sort of thing. And he was great. He literally crushed it. Okay, chat, we are going to start. I'm so freaking excited. The video was 27 minutes long. That's a lot longer than the last one was. That's for sure. But we did cover uh, we did cover a lot more. Let's freaking go. I got a DM from a mega Genshin Impact whale. And when I say mega, I mean mega. They have spent over 100,000 US dollars. Yeah, on this Genshin Impact. Chat, be responsible. Do not spend that amount of money on a game. It's stupid. About two to three hours per day. They are not just a whale, but they're also a completionist. They like to complete every single thing that this free to play got. Oh, we love completing things. If it feels so good point, to complete I might think things. That this person funds Hoyo. We wouldn't have Genshin Impact without them. Thanks for your service and spending a hundred thousand dollars. It's my you absolute remember, favorite a long thing. Time ago, I did review someone's account. This is the same person. I thought it was insane. So we're gonna review them again and see what progress they have made. Yep, like I said, that was in 3.8 where he reviewed me last time. But this is this is even crazier Sorry. this time. Off the rip, the team that they use are Nouvellet, Farina, Kazwa, and Zhang Li. Let's just take a look at this team that they have right now. Nouvellet, level 90. 47,000 HP. This team is nuts, by the way. Over 308 crit damage. So yeah, reminder that this is with Mara Chasse, 36. Uh, we should probably do the exact math, but it's like it's like 91% crit rate. Um, I would love to have him be perfect, but uh, you know, Mara Chasse actually hasn't been that nice to me. It's a 91.9, so it's 92% crit rate with Mara Chasse over 308. Uh, this is a top 1% Nouvellet. Christ, <laughs> okay. His weapon, Tome of the Eternal Flow. R5, of course. R5, four-piece Marushaze that gives you more crit rate as your HP increases and decreases. Perfect for mm -hmm, him. So mm -hmm, 55 mm -hmm. turns into something more. All right, let's take a look at these artifacts real quick. Okay, 10.9 crit rate, 6.2 crit damage. So, HP, 14% HP, not bad. All right. Pay attention to the HP rolls too. This is something that kind of gets lost in the sauce a little bit because people just look at crit only but you gotta look at the hp the hp is super important this is why i have forty-seven thousand hp on my new light because every piece has crit rate crit damage hp percent right hey bro okay and this piece here <laughs> this piece right here this is this off piece i rolled this you will not believe me when i say this i rolled this the night before he he looked at my account i literally rolled this piece the night before he reviewed it, I was like, oh my God, how did I roll this crazy freaking piece the night before? 46.6 CV. I literally rolled it the night before. Oh my God, that goblet. HP percent like, goblet. 40 CV. A lot of HP on here too. Constellation. C6. Let's 13, go. 9, 12. Dear God. All right, Farina, level 9. And you'll notice I only had his, only had his normal attack crowned. Um, I have an interesting relationship with crowns. This is probably a good point to talk about this. I do not start crowning heroes until every single character that uses that boss mat is 999. So you're going to see that with Furina here. When he looks at Furina, she's going to be 999 instead of I want a triple. I want a triple crown Furina. I really do. But we we got to wait until every single character that uses the boss mat to raise the talents is 999 and then I will finally invest in triple crowning because I'm trying to like keep 
everyone at 999 as as much as I possibly can. And if you crown someone, I mean, you're wasting two boss mats and that keeps everyone else behind. So uh, that's that's my kind of weird relationship with crowns and HP. Look at the palindrome HP chat. Look at the palindrome oh, HP. God. All right. 40,004 HP. Literally the perfect palindrome. That's not intentional. That That's accidental. Arena, level 90, 40,000 HP. God okay. Damn. Okay. 7.7. <laughs> we need to talk about this too. We need to talk about this too. This is by far my best built character. Furina, I got so goddamn lucky with Golden Troop. When the Furina leaderboards on the Akasha launch, I was number one. I was literally the first ranked in a vape melt team, which is where how I generally use her with like with Risley and stuff. Um, the other criticism I get for this is the ER. There's no ER on her. I get I get this a lot. They're like, where's the ER chat? She's C, she has C4. She doesn't need ER. She's fine. I never have trouble bursting with her ever. Um, if I have at least one character that has Favonius or whatever, like she never has issues. She's always fine. There's another Hydro character. I'm always playing her with another Hydro. It's either New Valette. It's like Yelan. It's like, you know, there's like there's always another Hydro. So it's, it's never an issue. She's C4. She doesn't need it. 100 ER on C4 is totally totally usable there are moments where it's a little frustrating i've had a couple moments where like maybe i wish i had like 120 percent but uh 100 percent er is totally fine when you have c4 it's 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 not a big deal r5 four piece golden troop let's see here my god okay again these pieces um, we'll kind of sc slowly scroll through these weapon at level 90 r5 four piece golden troop let's see here You'll notice on these pieces, they are crit. Of course, crit and crit damage, really important. Our crit and crit damage are sky high for Furina. Um, but you'll notice on every single piece, there's HP percent or there's EM, which is really, really good for any kind of team where you're vaping. Um, but you'll notice okay. 23 okay. EM. All right. 21 oh, EM. C6, because uh, why not? Of course what? it's C6. And 9, 12, 12. Yeah, and again, well. level 90, she's not triple like crowned because EM, I'm not going to use those boss ER, mats on her. weapon, level 90, R5, why not? Uh, four piece VV, perfect. Let's take a look here and see. Um, this is a um, mid Kazuha. It's okay. E I mean, we've got ER we've got EM focused uh, on with EM, some ER on EM, every piece. 18.8 energy fine. recharge, nice. EM, 16.2 ER, not bad. C6. C6. Uh, 10, 13, 13. And then, right, yeah, Lee, you'll notice, 90. you'll notice Kazuo's triple crown because Kazuo was an old character. I have all of the boss mats for him. So it makes, it's just a lot easier to triple crown him because I'm not like, if you looked at my inventory of boss mats, they're, it's kind of crazy. Like anything that's not a recent boss, we have a ton of, um, of mats basically we're not we're not running low at all 39,000 hp okay 65 over 130 crit rate you'll notice damage. that's okay. almost one to two as well charge oh dude do you know how insane that would have <laughs> okay. been to see a level <laughs> r5 vortex vanquisher we need to talk about this too um if I play Zhongli seriously, obviously I'm using an R5 Staff of Homa on him. I have an R5 Staff of Homa. For this showcase, my R5 Staff of Homa is on Hu Tao because I kind of have this weird thing where I like to... I, I just... It feels good to have every character on their weapon that was made for them. You know, even if it's a little bit weaker. Zhongli is one of those kind of exceptions where his designed weapon is not his best in slot. It's a very rare occurrence in Genshin where that happens. Usually the limited five star weapon is the best in slot for that character. There's only a few characters where that's not true. Like Ganyu, I think, prefers like Polar Star. Zhongli is the other one where he'd rather have Staff of Homa. Um, but for this review, I kind of just like I was like, I need I want every character on their weapon. Now it would have been more impressive if I was able to just put Staff of Homa on him. That probably would have been more impactful. And I probably thinking back, I probably would switch them out, especially since this was the team I showcased first but uh that's why he has an r2 for vortex vanquisher i mean i feel like an r2 that's already a lot or be tenacity <laughs> all right 
So this is just a balanced build. God damn. Okay. Crit like HP percent. Is what it yeah. Looks like. Of course. C six. Nine. C six. God damn. That is a team. What would you rate that? We need to crown Zhongli at some point. At least his skill. One. Million. That's that's kind of on the docket. Out of ten. Yeah, for sure. Okay. First and foremost, I just got to show you guys this. I think they have every oh, character. Let's go. Game. Let's see how. <laughs> let's go. Uh, so far, every single one, even Aloy. This is how you know they are dedicated to chat even a level 90 aloy oh my god every character is at level 90 every single one of them dory even <laughs> it's always dory let's see how many characters uh, they have c6 okay okay so let's talk about the level 90s for a second um my goal at this point, obviously, is to keep every character at level 90. Um, anytime a new character comes out, I kind of like pre farm for them as much as I can. And then right when they release, I try to get them to level 90 as soon as possible. Right now for that, I'm just in maintenance mode. It's like anytime there's a new character, I just get them and I level them to level 90. It's really easy once you finished everyone. It's not like a huge burden anymore for me. Um, I've had every character at level 90. You know, I had every character at level 90 the last time Doro reviewed my account. So that was in 3.8. I don't know exactly when I hit that goal, but I did hit it a long time ago. And basically, again, it's just maintenance mode. It's just every time there's a new character, I just level them to 90. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay. So, like I said, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, our viewership is higher now than it was when the stream started. Um, we don't have every character at C6. I'm missing 16 characters right now, as of now. Most of them are C0. I have a few of them at C2. Uh, one of them is Tainari. I have a C5. So once we get Tainari, once we lose a 50-50 to Tainari, we can have Tainari at C6. Then we'll have 15 characters to that aren't C6. Uh, that is going to change. I am going to C6 every character from here on out. That is my new objective. Um, we've got kind of a long road ahead of us, kind of a not long road ahead of us. There's 88 characters in the game. I have 15 of them, 15 limited characters that aren't C6. So, you know, as they come out, I'm just going to C6 every single one of them. So uh, Chiori will be today. After we watch this video, I will be C6ing Chiori. Chiori so. is not level, uh, it's not C6. All right, back to it. All right. <gasps> Albedo. Yeah, it's literally Three. the characters I don't really vibe with. Water. You know the characters I like the least based on their Xiao. constellations, honestly. Xiao. Venti. Yeah, Xiao's constellations are trash. C6 Aloy. I have a C6 Yula, though. Gone you. Not C6, all right. Dear God. Emily's not C6. Yeah, Emily, I only see zeroed. I kind of regret that already. Tainari, you have to lose the 50 50 too, so. He's C5 now. This was before the anniversary, by the way. C6 characters right now. 11. Base. I hate child so much. My longtime viewers know how much I hate child. Counted correctly, they have 14 non C6 characters. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually was there it's actually 15. C6 R5. Worst pulls of my life. Okay. 400 wishes. This was an error. It wasn't 2400. It was like I don't know why I said 2400. He asked me the question and I kind of panicked. I kind of like I kind of panicked. I was like, wait, how much was it? And I was looking for my spreadsheet because I have a spreadsheet of how many wishes is taking me to C6 every character. And I wish I took a little bit more time to actually answer this accurately. It's not 2400. It's 1400. 1400. I was off by a thousand. For some reason, 400 stuck out of my mind. I was like, was it 2400? No, wait, that, that doesn't make any sense. 2400 doesn't make any sense. It was actually, it was like 1400. Still worst character of my life. It was bad. 1400 is terrible. I lost almost every 50 50. I only got like two early pulls. Um, this was before the epitomized path was changed to be two from two fate points to one. So I lost to primordial Jade Spear, which was the other weapon on the banner. It wasn't even a good weapon banner chat. It was Foliar and primordial Jade Spear. I mean, I was losing. I could have R5'd another decent weapon, and instead I was pulling Primordial Jade Spear, Primordial Jade Spear. I just pulled so many Primordial Jade Spears. I think I pulled five. Um, 
And I think I already had it at R5, to be honest. Like, I already had it at R3 or something. I didn't need it. I didn't need that many. And it could have been a good weapon. Imagine if it was a good weapon that I would actually... I don't even like Xiao that much, to be honest. I don't, I am sorry. I hate to say it. Um, I hate to say it, but Xiao's like one of my least favorite characters. Uh, but we have a C0 R5 Primordial Jade Spear Xiao, by the way. Um, kind of funny. Wild. Let's look at the talents real quick. God damn. Jesus Christ, dude. This is already more than me. Even Aloy the 999. Bro, should I be using Mario music in my videos? This seems in my like opinion. This is it, even like more hits. impressive than having multiple C6 characters because this takes dedication. Oh my god. Bro, chill. It sounds familiar too, this music. This is Jesus Christ. From Zelda, like a Game Boy Zelda game? I can't even tell. Uh, have they hit Chiori yet? Or sorry, Charlotte? Has Charlotte been hit? Um Yeah. Wait, let me go back a little bit. Is Charlotte in there? Charlotte It's in there. Every character at this point was 999 talents except for Charlotte. And the reason Charlotte was not 999 is again because talents are gated by boss mats. And Charlotte, uh, I needed three more, no, sorry, six more whale parts, whale boss mats to get her to 999. I did not get the boss mats in time. I was the last like couple months before he was reviewing my account i was like if the if the boss will just drop three mats for me a few like a bunch more i can get there but it never did it's just two 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 every week two 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 i, I it, it the boss the whale the whale outwailed me it outwailed me it got me it got me good talents past level six are gated by boss match you can only get two per week sometimes the boss drops three i think it's like a 25 percent chance maybe it's a 50 percent chance it might even be a 50 percent chance i forget exactly what it is but um you have a chance to get three and you can only level them as fast as you the boss mats come in again this is why furina was not crowned in this video because i'm waiting for charlotte to get to 999 before i can uh before i can crown furina so this is the closest we've ever gotten though to having everyone in 999 this is literally the closest i've ever gotten it's hard because a new boss drops then they release like three characters right away who need the boss drops you, it's hard it's like you can only go so fast is that what are you gonna do when you max out your whole account like everything uh just keep doing it like i love doing it it's just what I love doing. I love collecting. As long as new things come out to collect, I just keep collecting. And then the new characters come out. I collect them. I level them up to max. I keep playing. I like I love the characters. You know, I love collecting them. I love using them in combat. I wish combat was a little bit harder where C6 characters actually like mattered. But like that's a whole nother topic I could talk about another time. But like I just love the game. Like I just love collecting them. I like having them. I like maxing them. It just feels good. It makes me feel... It just makes me feel a type of way like it's like, you know what it is? It's like when your life is chaotic and you can have this like controlled environment where you're like, I know exactly what's coming out. I know how to max it. I can do it. It gives you like this semblance of control. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's like it feels good to like know what you're doing and like make something happen. And that's kind of where that's kind of where that comes from a little bit. Uh, question, leave questions for me at the end, guys. I will, I will answer more questions at the end, I promise. Let's get through this. We're only, Christ. only five minutes in. There's 27 minutes! Uh, we gotta make time for Chiori, chat. The amount of mora this probably takes and the amount of resin this takes is insane. I don't think I checked this last time. Friendship levels. Uh, just a quick aside, I do max resin refresh every day. Um, if it's not for leveling a character or leveling a weapon, it is for artifacts because I, that's, that's kind of like, that's also my other obsession is like gearing characters. I like, I want to have every character like top 1% Akasha. That's like my ultimate goal. Like just keep farming artifacts until every character that's on the Akasha is in the top 1% and like with their own artifacts set. I don't want sharing artifacts. I don't share artifacts on my Akasha. That's like my ultimate goal. Like I just, I just keep spending resin to try to get better artifacts and just keep doing that. Take a look. And this 
is to go. Ooh, friendship level 10 on everyone. Let's go. <laughs> that's great. Okay, that's legit funny. <laughs> Holy. Even uh, Aloy. I think. <laughs> yeah, even more Aloy. More friends than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, friendship, by the way, I have a video out on my account. If you search Zedrix friendship level 10, I think that will probably come up. Probably Zedrix friendship on YouTube. They'll probably bring it up. I have a video that talks about how I power level friendship. I talk about every single way you can uh, maximize your character's friendship. Um, so yeah, check that out if you are interested, if you want to know. What the f I Okay. <laughs> the dev count, bro. Uh, All of them are like level 90. Oh my god. Okay. 241 weapons. So this is basically a Pokédex of every weapon in the game at max level as you scroll down. Wait, you have every weapon in the game? And you're telling I me do. that they are all level 90? Almost all the four stars are R5 too. What did he say? Hey. <laughs> uh, God. Okay, and then it gets here to... Wait, these are just your copies? Dear God. And before we continue with the video, I... Okay, so weapons. That is, again, every single weapon in the game. There is a slight caveat to this. Um, let me pop in the game real quick. Uh, this, I probably should sh actually show this. This is, if I sort by level down here, you can see um, at the bottom, there's like quality type level. If you sort by level, um, I've purposely leveled one of every weapon to level 90. I do not have any duplicates. Funny story, I actually salvaged a level 90 staff of Homa. I was using an R5 staff of Homa at level 90 and I had a level 90 staff of Homa that was R1. I salvaged the R1 staff of Homa because it was level 90 and it was like kind of ruining the flow of these weapons here because um, I want like I just want when I sort it by level I want every single weapon to show up once I don't want duplicates I don't want anything you know if I'm going to level a second weapon. Um, I'm going to stop at 89 or whatever it is. I'm going to, I'm not going to hit level 90 with it so far. I, I haven't done that. I haven't needed to. When you have every weapon in the game, there's a, there's a weapon for everybody. Like you don't need to, you don't need to have duplicates. Like there's, there's something for everybody. So yeah, if you sort through this, you know, I have one copy of every single weapon at level 90. All of the four stars are R5 except for battle pass weapons. And I'm still working on the new weapons a little bit. You need, um, for the forgeable weapons, you need billets, and those are hard to get. They're not easy to get, so I'm still trying to get billets for the new Natlin forgeable weapons. We're still sort of working on that, but you can see, like, Chainbreaker, I only have an R4. I'm waiting for, you know, billets. I'm low on billets here. Like, we only have so many billets. This also includes every event weapon. I've been playing since day one, so I have every single event weapon at R5. You know, if you look back in here, Festering Desire was the very first event weapon. We didn't miss a single one. I do need to talk about this too as well. I technically do not have every single weapon in the game. I am missing a three star weapon. If you did not know, Mondstadt and Leeway, when the game first launched, in their exquisite chests and in their luxurious chests, I think those are the two types of chests, they have exclusive weapons that only drop from Mondstadt and Leeway chests. Unfortunately, I use most of those weapons as fodder after exploring every single chest. So once you lose those, they're gone forever. You can't you can't get them. Once the chests are all open in Mondstadt and Leeway, those weapons are gone for good. So I'm actually missing a weapon called Great White Iron Sword, I think it's called. Great White Iron Sword. I don't have any copies. Um, luckily, when Chen Yu Vale dropped... I was able to get all the leeway ones because the, the Chen Yu Vale chests were coded as leeway. So I was able to do that, which was nice. And now we're waiting for a Mondstadt expansion. It's coming. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Mondstadt expansion. I'm waiting for my daddy Varka to come. I hope we get Varka in a Mondstadt expansion, something like that. I think we need like the Dandelion Sea is like an expansion that I hope it's, it's like people have been talking about it. Like eventually someday Dandelion Sea 
will uh, be an expansion for Mondstadt and those chests will hopefully drop. You can see there's a lot of these like recurve bow. I only have it at R1. I don't have it at R5. I'm trying to R5 all of the blue weapons too. Uh, otherworldly story. R1. Again, it's a Mondstadt exclusive we weapon. Luckily, I actually had one of each of these. I kind of lucked out on that. There's also Dark Iron Sword, which there are only two copies of in the game. So I have that as high as you can refine it. Sword at R2 Oh, we're doing more weapons. Okay. Level 90. Imagine having two Dark Iron Swords. <laughs> Audi okay, that was really funny. I'm sorry. The Audi thing was really to. funny. I was cackling. Count in all Genshin Impact. I was cackling. Let's take a look at their achievements. They are AR60, or level 8, 1,230. 39. How many achievements are in Genshin? There are 1,241 and you have 1,239. Okay, I'm not sure why the wiki said there was 1241. That does not make sense. What he did, he went to the wiki to see how many achievements there were. The wiki said there was 1241, which was not true. It was not true. There were 1240. Uh, I don't know where they got the one from. It just it doesn't it just was not. I, I I'm telling you right now, it was not. The only one I was missing was one in the Imaginarium Theater that you could not get. It's because it was time gated. You had to beat the Imaginarium Theater like three times. And by this point, we only had two Imaginarium Theaters. So 1240 was the max. I had 1239 because of that. There's technically 12, 1,240. The okay, last did cover this, at least. theater achievement isn't obtainable yet. That is insane, dude. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 
It's actually pretty, Rolling pretty brutal. In the teapot. You heard it here, chat. Those are the two worst achievements in Genshin Impact. But, but these are the next two, I would say, aside from that. single achievement known to man in Genshin. Ooh. Purveyor of Punishment. Look it up. The Purveyor oh, yeah. of Punishment. Oh, max you crit damage. Max damage was. Their max damage is 4 million. <laughs> Okay, chat. Who'd you do it with? Eula, yeah. It is Eula. Eula. That is insanely impressive. Coming from someone. Um, yep, that was with Eula. Um, the last time Dora reviewed my account, he actually used my Eula to do to beat my previous record, which was like one something million. And he on stream, he used my Eula C6R5 to do like two million damage. Um, and then we later after that, we did a stream where we were like trying to beat that damage. And I tried it on the Raiden boss. I tried it on the Scaramouche boss. Eventually we got to uh, 4.6 million. Now the Natlin boss is out. The Natlin one where you can do like 10 million pretty easily. So I may have to do that at some point, either with Arlecchino, Mulani. I don't know if Eula can do it. It might be pretty tough with Eula, but I would like to beat that. Maybe get the 10 million damage at some point. Yeah, it could be a fun Ooh, stream at some point. Really bad at exploring. Let's see your exploration. Definitely okay, against 100%. the um the local 100%. legend. Look at that. I almost forgot. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Okay, that's that's great. What about the desert? The desert everybody hates. <laughs> 100%. So yeah, we have every we have every region 100%. Something that's not 100%. 100%, 100%. Oh, shit. Dragon Spine 100. Okay. What about over here? 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. <laughs> You know what? Let me check your quest log real quick. Let's see if you've done Okay. Quest. All right. All right. So exploration again. Um, exploration is just maintenance. So, you know, a new region. Every time a new little region comes out, I just 100% it. You know, I'm at, I have 100% on everything. Um, 100% does not mean every single chest is found. It does not mean that. The map exploration is very generous. It's like... It's like I'd say if I had to guess, it's like 90 percent of the things in the region it, when you have 100 percent on the map. But if you look at my chest counts, I have every single chest open. Um, like if I go into my game, if I go into achievements and like you look at each little section and you go to this chest count here. This is the, the recent one with the Natlin region that launched in 5.0. You know, 407 is the max chest. So I've got them all. If you go to, you know, Chenyu Splendor. We have the max of 333 there. Like that's max. Like you can go, you can do all of these. If you look at all of them, I have a spreadsheet where I keep the max uh, record of every single one of these achievements. And I've maxed every single one of them. If you go through and you look at them, they're all 100% max. So I literally have every single chest that counts for those achievements. Um, not every chest counts for those achievements there's actually a longer story behind that which uh, i probably shouldn't get into because that will take way too much time to talk about but uh if you go into those achievements you know i've made sure to max uh every single one of those you know what let me check your quest log real quick let's see if you've done every quest let's see <laughs> I love that was so great. Hey, yeah, the chest moment was or the quest moment was so funny. Uh, I was literally cackling. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I made sure like this was something I thought about before I went. I gave him my account. I was like, I need to make sure all of the quests are done. Like and again, that's just maintenance at this point. Every new patch that comes out, I just make sure they get done. You know, so it's like uh, some patches are easier than others. Like 5.0 obviously had a ton of new quests. And uh, 5.1, easy peasy. There's like nothing to do in 5.1. 5.1 is boring as fuck, by the way. Uh, except for the Archon Quest, which I need to finish, by the way. And you got so. all the endings for each of them. All endings reached. All endings reached. Hangouts. Endings yep, for each we've done all the hangouts. I think Hoyos forgot about all hangouts, though, honestly. Chat is saying to check your name cards. Oh. Hoyos completely forgot about oh hangouts. God. So name cards, I missed Battle Pass 1.0 to 1.6, but I have everything else. I'm guessing you just weren't playing during that time. Uh, did you claim all your mail? Bro's got no mail. <laughs> okay. So yeah, name cards. Um, yeah, again, I have every single name card in the game. Um, I do have a spreadsheet that keeps track of every single name card. I'm missing Battle Pass 1.0 to 1.6, which is honestly, I hate that I'm missing those. I the funny thing is, I was buying the Battle Pass. I just wasn't buying the more expensive version of the Battle Pass, the Gnostic Chorus. I was only buying the Gnostic Hymn during that time. I wasn't wailing when I first started playing the game. I believe it or not. 
I was skipping banners. I was playing free to play. If you can believe it, from 1.0 to 1.6, I was playing free to play. People, I was buying the battle pass, so free to play, not completely. I was buying the Gnostic hymn. But people at the time were saying, oh, don't get the Gnostic chorus. It's a ripoff, which is true. If you're spending money to get like in-game benefits, like to make your account stronger, to make your character stronger, the Gnostic Chorus is a ripoff. You don't really get that much. It's all like cosmetic stuff. But I bought into that. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't need the Gnostic Chorus. I don't care about that right now. And I regret it so much. Now, I wish I bought those Gnostic Courses because I've been playing since 1.0. Oh, by the way, chat, did you guys know there's a name card for buying a Cadillac? Did you guys know that? I bet no, I bet, I bet barely any of you knew that. There was, there's a name card for buying a Cadillac, a literal car. Uh, I do not have that name card either. (laughs) Okay, I don't have that name card. Uh, even if I was rich enough to just buy a Cadillac for a name card, like, it's just weird. That, like, that's too far even for me. I'm guessing you just weren't playing during that time. Like, did you claim all your mail? Bro's got no mail. <laughs> yeah, I delete my mail. I'm super like, I don't. I want to try out this. <laughs> I'm. I don't like to say the word OCD because I think that minimizes people who actually have OCD. I do not have OCD. It's not. It's not a. Uh, You know, I mean, I haven't been to a therapist to determine if I have OCD or not, but I definitely do not have OCD. I do not um, have impulsive desires. I'm not driven by impulsive desires to do these things. I just really enjoy it. Like, I just I enjoy it. It's fun for me to check off boxes, to tick things, um, to complete things. I just love doing that. I don't have OCD. So but sometimes saying I have OCD is the only way to describe it. You know, that's the conundrum with that. It's like people aren't going to understand what I'm saying unless I say I have OCD. But like it's not OCD. I don't want to minimize people who have OCD. That is a very real syndrome that should not be minimized. Um, and I definitely do not have it. But uh what was I talking about in relation to OC? Oh, yeah, the, the mail. I have to get rid of my mail immediately. Like when I open the game, I cannot see those red check marks on my mail. Like I have to get rid of the red exclamation marks. Every time I log in, the first thing I do, get rid of the red exclamation marks. I hate them. And then I delete it, make sure my mail is clear. That's just like something yes. I just do every time I log in. <laughs> I want to try out this. Ki- this, 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 this uh, uh, no, this we have not C6 quick, sure yeah. yet. We will do that soon. Okay, now the team showcases. Uh, this was actually really fun. <laughs> wait, 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 wait oh, chat, okay. Did I just... <laughs> okay, chat. That was, that was great. The fact that he did that was hilarious. Chad, did you guys catch that? Nouvellet dropping the meatball. Yeah. Also, hold, wait, hold on. She's dead. What the... F- how... Okay, the moment was funny, but it also took away from what Nuvolet was doing. He was like completely power blasting her to to nothing. And uh we like that just seemed like whatever. Uh the damage numbers were were missing there. Oh, like <laughs> But it was worth it. Like let's be real. Let's it was worth it. Dude, how fast was that? Wait, let's go look at the TCG cards. And you know what? While we're here, we'll also look at the cooking pot. Okay, so this is the second biggest surprise. So this is all 196 recipes in the game also cooked to max proficiency every single one you are literally the master chef gordon ramsay would be proud finally yes that is every single recipe in the game that was released at the time i have not missed a single recipe i've been fortunate enough every single time there's been a recipe in the game i have bought it i've collected it i've done the event for it um i have not missed a single recipe which is great um that could have been a very easy thing i could have missed um when i wasn't in collector mode because i wasn't in collector mode from day one you know i was like playing the game every day and anytime there was an event i would try to complete it but i don't think i was like really like super invested until like inazuma came out that was when i was really like even maybe even closer to um 
Sumeru. Like, that's when I really like the collector bug really hit me. But I was doing the events. I enjoyed playing the game. I was playing every day. I was like, I want to max my characters. I want to get as many primos as I can get my hands on. I want to collect everything I can get. You never know when something might be valuable later. So I was like doing all of the weapon collecting, all of that. So yeah, luckily I didn't miss any recipes. I've also gone in max proficiency on every single recipe. There, there's an easy way since 5.0 came out to tell if you've max proficiency on every level because they now have this uh, search thing where you can say incomplete. If I don't have a recipe at max proficiency, I can select incomplete and it will show me every recipe that is not at max proficiency, but you can tell the filter tells me uh, no food meets the requirement because I have every single recipe in the game at max proficiency. And you can slowly go through here and click every single one if you want, but I'm going to spare you guys the boring tedium. You guys are just going to have to trust me. They're all max proficiency. Okay, we're about halfway through this. What the f*** is this? Uh, I actually want to see the Gordon Ramsay clip. What the f*** is this? <laughs> okay, that's great. Cream? I have never seen that before. That's what they called me back in college. <laughs> Lana, shut the f <laughs> This might be the that was actually funny. account. I don't deserve to be on this account. Why am I touching this account? Yeah, uh, I'm here to take a look at the cards. Player level max. Unlocked character Max TCG. It's all done. Collected action cards. All 614. Open world match challenge objectives reached. 265. <laughs> oh my god. God. It's oh so boring. God. I hate the TCG so much. Genshin saw your account and they're like, this. I think they're going to probably show that. Yeah. The way, do you think that people like the TCG? Yeah. I mean, this guy likes it. And then that's why we have the TCG tournaments now because of you. <laughs> Zed said, so I actually don't <laughs> like TCG. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too confusing. Even if they hate it. Yep. They are a true complete. Like, bro. The TCG is so conf like I love what they're trying to do with it. It's it's not that it's like crafted badly. Like it's really well done. They did a great job with it. Like the characters, the abilities, the summons, like how the dice work and all that. I think that is all great. The problem is if you don't spend a copious amount of time learning what every single character does, what every single card does, uh, you're lost. I mean, you play a, you go play a random game and you're like, what is happening? What do these cards do? Like, I can't follow all of this. This is insane. Like every card does some crazy thing. That's like, I don't like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that's the only thing I don't like about it. If I put a, a copious amount of time into learning it, I'm sure I would love it. I'm sure it would be fantastic. But like, man, I don't have the time or the energy to really like, learn it and the the abilities are so confusing you read an ability you're like oh my god um when you use your skill you get one stack of blah 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 and then when you use your burst you get three stacks of blah 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 blah, blah. and then when blah 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 goes blah 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 then blah 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 blah, 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 blah. it's like I, that's too much for me. I like, I don't, I don't understand it. I'm sorry. I just like, I can't, this is I can't. I expect you to know the least about, I can't. don't care about it. To me, it's kind of a magnum opus. I have every entry completed in it, which is probably the most difficult thing in the game to do but it's also the most esoteric. Okay, I know that Zedrix is rich <laughs> and has some really amazing I'm not because they're using some rich words chat. I'm not I, that rich, trust me. I have no me. idea what they even mean. What the f*** does esoteric mean? <laughs> <laughs> I dropped out of college and I'm a streamer. What the f*** does esoteric mean, bro? Some of it's very esoteric to me and uh, benign, really. <laughs> But, you know, uh, let's take a look. I'm sorry, Doro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean to stump you with that one. Esoteric just means like it's super niche, like only a select amount of few people really know like how it works or the inner workings, the, the super detailed minutia of how it behaves or how it how it acts. That's all it means. You have 2,569 entries unlocked. That is the max number of entries obtainable. It Got is. It. Okay, at that time. Beings. Not anymore. Okay, yeah, every living being, of course. Oh, oh, bro, I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a crow in this game. I don't think I've ever seen this bird. In Azuma, man. man. Okay, in Azuma. Thank you. There are people at the in shrine in Inazuma. On my side. Where are the but crows? Yeah, kind of crazy. In Azuma? I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Geography. Yeah.
You have to, in order to get every single archive entry for the animals, you have to go and kill them. You literally just have to kill them. Uh, I think some of them can be caught now with the net, but like, like you, li I don't know any other way to get them. You just have to shoot them or attack them. So Aloy was actually really helpful in getting that because the animals don't run from Aloy. The really nice passive that Aloy has. So, uh, but yeah, we had to go yeah, kill animals. You have everything because you have a hundred percent completion. Literally everything. Yeah, geography is How viewpoints. Those little purple things that, that you see on the map that when you, you're like, take like the little photo. Takes like right? the little snapshot. Wait, yeah. Do you have every book in the game? You have literally all the entries unlocked. That we have all the books. Have every book. Material. There's a couple yeah, books that yeah, are not bro. collectible fully game. yet. Okay, that, that's they have every. Wow. Let me check your. But I have all the ones you can get. Okay, of course you have all of them okay this is have the new one these ones that you can this triggers me so hard chat have these ones too I got i'm actually one. missing a hang glider okay, you got all the wings we know uh no i don't have them all i'm missing one there's a long story behind why i'm missing it it's the amazon wings um there was an event with amazon it was a seven i think it was an eighth month long event and you had to be on amazon prime for four months of those eight months and every month you are on Amazon Prime, you got a code and you would use the code in game. And then when you redeemed four codes, four of the codes in game, you would get the glider. I signed up for Amazon Prime just for this. I don't use Amazon Prime. Otherwise, I started doing it. And um, well, you know what happens when there's an event where it's like you have to remember it's ongoing for months. It's like I, you every month you have to remember to go back into your Amazon Prime, get the code, redeem it. And I missed a month. I redeemed three codes out of four. I had the fourth code like I had it. I went to Hoyo. I said, I have the four codes. I only redeemed three of them. Can I still get the wings? Even though I didn't redeem the fourth code, can I get it? I put in ticket after ticket after ticket, begging them to give it to me, and they would not do it. They didn't do it, which just boils my blood. I'm like, I bought Prime to get these wings. I paid for it. I got the codes. I have them. They're right here. I have them on my account. I can show you screenshots of my Amazon Prime with my email. It matches the email on my Hoyo account. I'm like, I can show you everything you need to see. And I did. I took screenshots. I'm like showing them like, these are my codes. They're my emails attached to them. I have all four. I only redeemed three of them in game. I didn't redeem the fourth code in game and I didn't get the wings and I'm bitter to this day I am so bitter I'm so bitter I'm this just makes me so mad I keep hoping they will eventually re-release them somehow like a lot of times the wings show up again in another event and I'm hoping but it seems like it's so far gone at this point they're never gonna do it I'm so bitter and I know it's my fault I know I screwed up I should have been more diligent with using the codes, but like, man, are these the dragon spine wings? <sighs> They're so pretty, bro. Let's check. Oh, it kills me maybe, to this day. Maybe, chat, maybe they don't have every single one. Oh, let's see. Resonate with Animo. 9, 12, 12. Yeah, it was poorly set up. I agree. Yep. God damn. God damn. We do have every traveler at 999. Of course. C6, of course. Oh my god, I know. I, they, I mean... Do you want to play test any teams? All this definitely a, there's definitely a world where I might have gotten caught out there. But no, I was prepared. I always see... I always uh, max talents for every single traveler. Like, I'm waiting for the pyro traveler. Pyro traveler, where are you? We're waiting. ...in there will be built and ready to go. While I use every character, I also leave a lot of character artifact-less. Only my heroes that have builds that I'm satisfied with have artifacts. Otherwise, I just use the new auto-equip when I get itchy to play other heroes. The account has over yeah, that's basically what I do. level 20 artifacts, so there's plenty to build from. The woman was too stunned to... <laughs> I have a lot of artifacts, let's, let's chat. take a look on this, this team. I have Why a lot of artifacts fully leveled up. Deployed. A lot of them are repeats, oh, no. like... You have two of the same artifact, one's 35 CV, one's 30 CV, stuff like that. <laughs> what the fuck was Bro, Risley is so cracked. Boom! Gadoosh! <laughs> 
Moxley is so fucking cracked. He went boom. <sighs> I uh, her and just to oblivion, she died. That Risley is insane. I need to look at this character right now. I need yeah, when is he gonna rerun, by the way? So tragic. Um, chat, Risley is my now second favorite character. He was my favorite character on his release. Jalonen has kind of replaced him a little bit. Jalonen is just fantastic. I love Jalonen so much right now, but Risley is my, well, okay, from a gameplay perspective, this is talking from a gameplay perspective. Uh, Jalonen and Risley are kind of my top two. I'll hate them as up there, top three. Personality wise, Cave tops all. Cave tops me. Cave tops me. Uh, yeah, Cave is personality wise. He is little, legit my fave character. I love Cave so much. I love his personality. I love his aesthetics. See you, Risley, because holy shit. 2200 attack, 65.9 over 222.9 crit damage. All right, so this is Risley. This is a vape melt Risley. I have him built with EM and attack and crit damage and crit rate so this is also a marsha say hunter 66.9 with the 36 percent for marsha say hunter goes over 100 percent crit rate it's like 102 i think you want 64 64 is like the perfect crit rate for marsha say we're a little bit over that 65.9 um, but we still have 222.9 crit damage we have 221 em you can sort of see it hovering up there energy recharge is even at 118 which isn't really that relevant he doesn't really care about er but his weapon at level 90 r5 c6 okay. r5 okay. of course oh, the mastery there. he's okay. cracked oh, nice. like he's oh, literally cracked cryo damage bonus he is my best cryo goblet 14.0 and 14.0 this is uh 42 cv point two. it's oh my god dude c6 i would still like a better circle it technically 13 holy sh that triple crowned max <laughs> uh, let's check out the next team fontaine femmes let's see how this one goes <laughs> okay this one's good this one's really good uh i love this i love this <laughs> Sijuin <laughs> popping off. I love Sijuin so much. God, what the? F that is a C six R five Sijuin. Oh, they're Yoi Mia chat. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one out. Actually, I'm very excited for this one. Yoi Mia surprisingly weak at C six R five, which is kind of unfortunate. She still gets the job done. Unfortunately, she's just really outclassed. Couldn't even get through Raiden, unfortunately. Yelan helping out a lot there. I wish Yoimiya was stronger. I really do. Official Yaimiko. Uh, this is a C6 R5 Arlequino with C6 Chev Chevreuse. I'm C6 Amico, C6 Fischl. Like, it's like, it's so fast. I don't even know what the f happens, dude. Just like, you just destroy things. I, I didn't even get to try out Yamiko yeah, Burst. I kind of want to try that out. Uh, it's only a top 3% Arlequino, by the way. I have really bad luck with Whimsy. I spent a lot of time in that dungeon. I just have not gotten rewarded for it at all. Whimsy has broke me. Like, Whimsy literally broke me. Go, go, go. Uh, this is C6 R5 Kokomi. <laughs> She's good, but like the Hydra supports are pulling a lot of weight there too. At this point, who cares? She died and it was fast as f and that was C6 R5 Coco with Furina is fantastic too, by the way. Uh, C6 R5 Alhatham with C6 Kuki here. Obviously, C6 R5 Nahida. Oh my god, what? Absolutely slaps. Man, like, literally so the best team. Disgusting. That team was especially correct. Why is this one called one? If I want something to die, rate. that is the team I always pick. Crit, right? That and Nouvellet. Those are the two, <laughs> two best. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, which character was this again? Oh, Ido. Yeah, this this Ido build is insane. Crit rate. Does your Ido have 100 crit rate? <laughs> <laughs> This is a perfect 100% crit rate, Ido. Uh, this is one of my better built characters. He's top 100-ish on the Akasha. This build actually ranks worse than a couple other artifact configurations I could have. But because it's a perfect 100%, we have to use it, right? There's no, We have no choice. We have to use it. It's a perfect 100%. There's just no, there's no way around it. <laughs> oh my God. All right.
stabilize. Good pull in. Everyone on top. Get him. Showtime. Ito, this was before Jelonen, by the way. So Ito is like twice as strong now. He's insane with Jelonen. I actually have a video I just published about C6R5 Jelonen uh, about a week ago. He's just bonkers good now with Jelonen at C2. Like just insane. Shiori hit 105k burst and 48k with each hit. What was Ito hitting? I, w I wasn't even looking, dude. He was just bunk, 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 bunk. Just chunks were going away. Why did I see? This team is literally called Why uh, did I see six her? Oh, uh, Clarand. Did you see six her? No, oh, I'm happy that I see six her. I just, when I did it, I did not uh, intend to see six her. I got carried away. Uh, she's really good though. Take her off your hands. She's bro. really good though. All right, last team that they built for us. Let's see it. Okay, I should have given him Overload Raiden. Overload Raiden would have been a lot better here. <laughs> I hate this team so much. I. You're such a. You're such a. I gotta do that again. I mean, oh, she blocked him. Bro. He she almost said, got her. Raiden's no, electro Ryden's resilient too, Ryden. so like that. You have to factor that in as well. Illusion shatters thunder. Thunder <sighs> Yeah, he really struggles with this team. I really struggle with this team too. Honestly, I, I kind of hate it. I should have given him overload. I should have given him overload. Oh. Oh. My Raiden's top 1%, but she just doesn't feel that good for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's it's could be user error, skill issue. I feel like when I play her, I suck with her too. This is C6 Kudro Sara too, by the way. You know what? It's a skill issue, chat. I, I admit it. It's a skill issue. It's a skill issue. It's a skill it's issue. A it's a hard team. Issue. I don't get team. it either. Uh, Zed says, I'm not good at that team either. Let's cope. Yeah, really together. not. It's the team. It's not us as the player. It's the team. It's not really a great team, you know? No hate to you. You built the team very well. Meta-wise and stuff like that, this team ain't really doing it. You know what I'm saying? Forget about it, you know what I'm saying? Overload would have been a lot better. We should have done it. We, we should have given an overload. Real quick, their highest CV is 48 points. Two. It's this. Bro, I am still mystified by the fact that I haven't gotten a 50 CV artifact yet. Like, legit, I have leveled so many artifacts. Like, how in the world have I not hit 50 CV? It feels like I have a lot of great artifacts, but I have not hit the mother load yet where I've gotten like that golden 50 CV piece. Uh, I just haven't gotten there yet. 48.2 is the highest I've gotten. This being said, I have gotten really lucky with circlets. I have two really amazing circlets that hopefully will get featured later. Um, I have some like 35 CV circlets, which is crazy. Bards like arrow, just in the substats. So that's point one crit rate. That's really good. Teen point oh crit damage. <gasps> I beat him. I beat I, <laughs> I beat him. 48.2. Suck it. Doro, you got me. You got me, Doro. It's my gladiator piece. It's 3.9 crit. I want a 50 CV piece so bad. I'm trying so hard to get a 50 CV piece. 2358 attack, 115 energy recharge, 101.2 crit rate over one to two crit ratio on your Wait, Mia. Wait, no way. I can't do math. I'm a It's overcapped a little bit, so that's kind of cringe, but still, it's like such a cool number. 202 point. That's what it says. That you literally have the perfect one to two ratio. Chat, when I build my characters, I live for the 100% crit rate. Like every single character. You'll notice, like in a lot of my builds, I go for the 100% crit rate, one to two ratio, almost always. Uh, like, like uh, Nouvellet, I was at like 92% crit rate with Marachasse. Risley, I was over 100% crit rate with Marachasse. Uh, Fiorina, 97.9% .9 crit rate with Golden Troop. Uh, this Yoimiya, over 100% crit rate. Like, I always try to go for that 100 crit rate build. That's like kind of, I just, I feel like it's aesthetically nice. No. It's consistent. I've seen that before. Oh my God. That's so, oh, my brain feels good after seeing that one. All right. Let's take a look here and see how, how did we get there? Thundering Pulse level 90 R5. Okay. That's correct. Four piece Shimanawa. Obviously. Let's take a look and see. 
The shim God pieces damn. are kind That's of insane. This is a top one percent right. Yoenia. Nineteen point four crit. Nineteen point four crit rate on a feather. Get some ER. God damn, bro. Sixteen point three. Everything has attack percent too, which is crazy as well. Six point four crit damage. Elemental mastery on there too. Lot attack. She's Yoemi is crap. I wish she was just stronger. You know, 10, 13, and 12. I think She's so I weak, though. It's so sad. I tried to use her with Jelonin, was not, did not hit as much as I wish. 203, 133 energy recharge. Okay. Her weapon at level 90, R5, of course. Um, oh, that's where you beat me. You've got Whimsy on her. I have Gladiator on mine. <laughs> oh, the Whimsy pieces have not been great. Like, they're good. But they're not um, like anything to write home about. Anymore, dude. C six twelve nine twelve. I need a good sands to build to put it together. The sands I haven't gotten. Eight hundred. Sixty-six. Max HP. Ninety-five over two fifty. You can see with Yolan, ninety-five percent crit rate. I mean, this is always what I try to go for. Aqua level ninety R five. Four piece. I wish your ER was higher though. To be honest. Right, very good. I wish your ER was higher. HP here with crit rate. C one helps a lot though. So good. Jesus Christ, dude! That crit rate, and crit damage, some EM. Holy! What the? F your builds are so. Insane. I'm getting like legit pissed off at them. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Nahida, level 90, 830 EM, 75 over one. So yeah, this is a energy This is a C6 Nahida. So obviously, um, crit crit rate matters because you can use her on field a little bit more. So we have like a really good one to two crit ratio on Nahida. Uh, the EM was still at 830. You'll notice. Wow. Her weapon level 90 or five. Jesus Christ. Four her pieces are insane too. Look at these stats. They can't be that good, right? Thank you. They're all 40 CV. Every single piece is 40 CV. And this one, this is one of the best uh, weapons on my account or artifacts on my account. This is a like 45, 46 CV elemental mastery on set goblet for Nahida. This is actually super cracked. Um, I have not really found a piece that's <laughs> that's better than this. Like as far as non circlet goes, this is so crazy that it's on set too. Oh, you don't have a Dendro Goblet. Yeah, it's Still technically she should be on Dendro Goblet, but EM is pretty much fine too. C6, 10, 13, 13. Your Nahida's cracked. Of course, they are. of course they are. Let's take a look at their Al Haytham. 392 Elemental Mastery, 74.1 over 250. I wish this crit rate was higher, honestly. R5, four piece Gilded Dreams. What a stacked flower dude 15.5 crit damage 10.5 crit yeah everything on him is pretty cracked as well and then some em on there as well damn dude wow very good 17.5 <laughs> crit rate okay this circlet mastery. some attack percent some hp crit damage circlet dude this circlet is the best piece on my account bar none uh it's on set for i'll hate them it is 35 cv in substats with crit uh, it has 37 elemental mastery as well, and it has attack percent on it, which is crazy, crazy good. Uh, this was a four line starter that rolled four times into crit and one time into EM and then also has attack percent as a substat. This piece is absolutely insane. Bar none, best piece on my account, especially for I'll hate them, especially that it's on set. Uh, bar none. Easily dude. untoppable. 10, 13, 13. I mean, we tried that Al Haytham earlier, dude, and that Al Haytham fing schmack. Yeah, he's so in, he's hard, just bro. insane. Wow. That's all I got Him say. and Nuvalet and Arlecchino, top it's three. Been an absolute pleasure. Glad you enjoyed. Zetterix, nah, dude. Thank you for letting me check this out. So that is Zetterix's account in Genshin Impact. When I reviewed them a long time ago, I was like, man, this is amazing. I didn't think it could get any better. I was wrong. This was the most insane <laughs> account I've ever <laughs> seen in Genshin Impact, dude. Oh, I just love seeing someone spend. appreciate that play, all the hard work I put into it. Day to get every achievement like it honestly almost brings me to tears because i put so much effort into this style map like everything is just like this is like better than a dev account at this point bro you the dedication is wild and i love to see it because it shows that you really love this game i want to say from the bottom and of i really heart, do thank you so much for so like genshin has brought me genshin so much impact. joy in the last four years it's unbelievable <laughs> probably dude i had to rate this account i'd probably say like a like 40 million out of 10 bro there's no uh, way 
yeah. it's just like insane. We're filming this the day of Natlan release. Zetarix is going to have some new content. Yeah, Natlan literally came Speaking out that content, night. Content Zetarix does make their own content on YouTube, and I believe they stream on YouTube and Twitch. I'll have their links not in my Twitch. description below. If you I don't stream on Twitch. Out, check out their. You know, I should. I don't know. I don't know if I should or not. Uh, and check them out. It's and a hard question to wrap my head around. View your account. I honestly don't think there's a better account than this. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this account review and what your favorite, like the, the part that made you say, holy shit, that is an insane account. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Doro. Um, if you happen to watch this reaction video, Doro, and you're just listening, I don't know if you'll make it this far. I don't know if you'll watch it. It's totally fine if you don't. It's not a big deal. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart that uh, you took the time and the energy and the effort to do this and not just do it, but do it in such a way that was so professional and really like just cover all the bases. Um, consummate professional for sure.